Hello everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make an animated gun skin texture, just like the one you are looking at right here. So as you can see, it looks really nice and it's actually very simple to do. So, what we're gonna start with, uh, actually before I start this tutorial, I just wanna tell you guys that I'm sorry for not uploading for almost a week. I just had a ton of exams and now I'm done with all of them. So I'll be able to upload daily and yeah let's start so what we're gonna do is try to remake this effect which is actually very very simple to do so let's say you have a part right here in your Roblox, there, there is something called a texture so if you select your part press the little plus icon add a texture and you have something called texture id which i'm going to take from the toolbox so we're gonna take a free texture id so let's go to images let's go to lava texture let's find a nice lava texture or maybe i'll just to get try to get the one from my pistol so i'll just get this texture id and just paste it right here now the way this works is by tweening the offset of the texture. So if you select your texture, there is something called studs per pile U. This uh, shows, this basically is how many points or how big your texture, how big do you want your texture to be? Sorry if I'm bad at, at explaining. So I prefer, I usually do this depending on the size of the object. So let's put, for example, five for this and five. Or maybe even three and three. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the part neon and the color of the part to a, maybe a green. Let's go for a nice red. And what I'll be doing is as you can see we don't have any textures on the other sides so that's really easy to fix all you have to do is duplicate your texture set the uh what's it called the face to the back this time and then duplicate it again set the texture to the front this time duplicate it again set set it to the left and duplicate it again set it to the right and duplicate it again and set it to the bottom so as you can see, now we have a part full of textures. Now, what I usually do is add a folder and rename it to textures. And then put every single texture inside of the textures folder. Actually, no, sorry for that. It actually won't work, but that's not a problem because we'll have a script that will basically tween this. Now, if you select every single texture, or let's just select the front texture. There is something called offset studs U. If you move this, it will move the texture. Now, the way we'll go about doing this is by basically tweening this value. So making it go, for example, from one, from zero to 10, and then go back to zero. But then we'll have to tween the offset studs what v2 so to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a script to the part and then what we're gonna start off with is by getting tween service so local tween service is equal to game on get service tween service and then after getting tw tween service we're gonna create a variable for our part local part is equal to script.parent you can rename this to anything you want let's rename it to object is equal to script.parent and then what we'll be doing is creating something called tween info this is basically an info to give to our tween that we'll create after so local tween info make sure you spell it exactly like me with a non capital t and capital i is equal to tween info dot new and then you want to drop a line, set this to the speed of your texture. So we're going to set that to a variable up here. So local texture, speed, 
is equal to maybe 0.5 so the lower this is the faster it will look so we're gonna get the texture speeds and then uh we will get the easing style so enum.easingstyle.linear which is the best one to use in this case since we are only just tweening it so then we'll get the easing direction enum.easingdirection.out and then we're gonna set this to minus one which is how many times we will repeat the tween so if you set it to anything below zero it will go on forever then you want to set this to true so what this does is basically just uh makes the tween go back to normal so let's say it starts from 20 studs then it will it will go to 40 studs then it will go back to 20 studs and since we set this to minus one it will repeat infinitely and then we're gonna give it the delay between each tween i personally i personally use zero which is the best delay to be honest in this case and then we're gonna create the tween so local tween is equal to or let's rename the variable to local texture tween is equal to tween service sorry that was a typo on create and you will give it the object that you want to tween so we're gonna get the texture and don't worry if we have if we don't have the texture yet but we'll set this variable and comma tween info dot new and actually sorry we're gonna get the tween info that we just typed so sorry for that tween info and then we're gonna get the property now you want to set this to the name of your property so it's called offset make sure you spell it right so it's called offset studs u and we're gonna set this to something like 30 and then we'll create another tween so copy this paste it here and and we're gonna call this to local extra tween 2 and you want to set the offset studs v this time instead of u and then this should work now i forgot to remove a parenthesis so sorry for that and in here we're gonna have to do a for loop so for underscore comma since we don't really need the index right now but you can do for i comma v i personally use uh underscore comma which it basically means we don't need the index so for underscore comma um texture in pairs um object which is our part called get children so this will get every single ch child of the part do and then we will have to check if the children is a texture or else it will result in an error since our script or anything doesn't which is not a texture will not have this property called offset studs u so if texture and then we're gonna use something called on is a so this will check if it's a any object you want so in this case we're gonna check this texture then texture then and then i personally put this in actually never mind then we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna play the tween so texture tween on play and then we're gonna play the texture tween too and now if you go ahead and run the game it should work just like the gun we have here let's run the game and see how this looks all right so as you can see it does work but as you can see we have quite a big problem which is the speed is too fast so we're gonna change this to five and then play this again and as you can see it does animate but it takes too long so we're gonna set this to something like 25 which would be perfect for this use case. Let's 
but as you can see it looks pretty good and i think if we set this to false it might look better and if we set this to math not huge which will basically just generate a huge number okay so we don't do that <laughs> Uh, sorry about that one. Maybe let's put 50. Uh, 50. And for the time, I will want it to take around 40 seconds. I think that will look pretty decent. So as you can see, our texture tweens. And it looks pretty darn sick. Now, I'll be showing you how to use this in any mesh you want. Let's say, for example, you want it for a gun. So let's try to get a little gun. So go to meshes i mean meshes and make sure that your gun is not a model or if it is a model then you're gonna have to put the textures inside of the uh, mesh part of the model so you want to search for gun or anything you want really and oh sorry i was searching in textures i mean images so we're gonna look for meshes and we're gonna look for a gun so we have this little gun right here, which looks pretty cool. And it's not loading for some reason. So we're gonna click it again. And it's still not loading. We're gonna get the big, big gun. And we'll scale it down. Well, let's just keep it big. And then you wanna give it a nice little texture. So we're gonna just use these ones. Okay, what just happened? We're just going to use these textures, so Control c to copy, or right-click and copy. And then you want to select your gun and paste them into it. And then, I'm going to change my color to anything. Maybe a blue. And neon. And I think it will look pretty sick. Yeah, this looks epic. And then you want to get your script. So we're going to duplicate the script. Put it inside of the big gun mesh. And if you go ahead and run this this time. It will look pretty good. And as you can see this looks really good. So I'm really really happy with the results so far. And now I'm going to be showing you how to use this with only one script. So you want to create a folder inside of the workspace. Call it animatable. Animatable uh, textures. And then you want to take every single mesh that has the texture that you want to move. And then you want to search for the parent property. And click on the animatable textures. And then you want to remove the script. Or maybe keep a copy of the script. Put it out of the folder. And then remove any other script that will move this. This is just if you have too many meshes. So that it still stays performant. So we're going to get the script. Put it inside of the animatable textures. And we're going to rename the script to main. Or maybe animate. And then we're going to loop through for i, v in pairs script top parent on get children do or let's put for underscore comma object and remove the object variable that's right here and make sure to remove it and i'm pretty sure this should work but before we do that you want to check if the con is a base part so if the or if object con is a and if it's a base part so basically a base part is anything it could be a mesh or a part or a union or a object con is a union operation then we're gonna do all this stuff so now if you go ahead and run the game everything should be synchronized and it will look pretty cool with only one script that controls all of this so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if this helped please subscribe it will mean a lot to me uh drop a like on the video share it with your friends and i will see you all in the next 
video. Bye.